Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. This is Sean LaBelle of the Decker Hewitt Group. It was a bit of a mixed week here for North American markets. Canada managed to pull out a bit of a gain here while the U.S. major indices were definitely a little bit lower on the week. In Canada, we actually managed to eke out a small gain despite uh, the Bank of Canada obviously increasing interest rates on Wednesday. Moving up now from 50 basis points to that full percent marker. So this week's Market Watch Weekly just runs through that in a little bit of detail. Not too much as this has been widely expected now for several weeks. The U.S. Federal Reserve is also expected to hike interest rates another 50 basis points themselves. When they meet later in May, they will also begin running off that uh, balance sheet, which we just did discuss a little bit last week. Uh, so there's a little bit more of commentary uh, following that in this week's Market Watch Weekly. Interesting, we look at the last sort of tightening cycle that we did witness in 2017 through 2019. There's a really good chart in there that just illustrates the S&P 500 returns along with the U.S. Federal Reserve's balance sheet. Uh, surprisingly, we did see some pretty impressive returns for the first 12 months of the tightening cycle. It wasn't until the back half of 2018 when we got a little bit uh, hawkish out of the U.S. Federal Reserve. There was also that looming trade war with the Trump administration in China. That did really mess up uh, the geopolitical scene and a lot of supply chain. That's obviously very different from what we're seeing in Russia right now, as China is obviously one of the U.S.'s largest trading partners. But anyways, we encourage you guys to take a look at that report. So like I said, it's a really good illustration of what to expect here probably in the next little bit. And we will end it on that note. Hope you guys enjoy the upcoming long weekend and we will talk to you again next week. Cheers.